Okay, best controller settings for Apex Legends Season 13. Um, I, I've been playing this game since Season 0, um, and I have found a lot of success with multiple settings, uh, ALCs and non-ALCs. Um, but these, by far, are probably the best settings I've played in, uh, played with. So, that being said, I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys, my updated settings. I haven't made a settings video since Season 7, I think, or 6. Um, so we're going to start with gameplay. Uh, I have interact prompt style on compact, uh, button hints on crosshair damage feedback. I'll have it off damage numbers, stacking, being opacity default, uh, obituaries on, uh, minimap rotation. I have that off for whatever reason. Um, I think this is just personal preference. Uh, weapon auto cycle and empty is off auto sprint. I have that on. Double tap to sprint, I have that off. Since I already have auto sprint on, I think this is kind of pointless. Uh, Jetpack control, I have it to hold. Incoming damage feedback, I have that on 3D. Uh, I've seen some people put it on 2D uh, and 3D. Just have it on 3D, in my opinion. I think 2D and 3D is kind of like a lot of clusterfuck in your screen. But, you know, it's personal preference again, you know. So, taking damage closes death box or crafting the menu. I suggest having this off. This is extremely important. You do not want to be taking damage. Um, you don't want the death box to close on you when you're taking damage. So make sure to have that off. Hop up, pop up. I have this to on. Streamer mode, I have it on all. Anonymous mode, I have it disabled. Usage sharing, disabled. Performance display, I have it on. Club invites, I have it enabled. Communication filter, everybody. Radical, I have it on. Um, actually, I customized this. I don't know why it says default, but I have it on white. Well, uh, color blind mode, I do play with Tridenopia. Um, again, personal preference. Subtitles off, subtitle size, normal. Enable accessible chat features off. And convert incoming voice to chat text off. And play incoming text chat as speech, I have that off. Controller, button layout, I have it on default. The reason I have it on default is because I play Claw. Um, for those that don't know what claw is, is basically having both thumbs on your thumbsticks and being able to press A, B, X, Y um, with your index finger. That's the reason why I play on default, but if you do not play claw grip, then I would suggest changing this to bumper jumper or even ninja, just something that allows you to jump and have both thumbs on the thumbsticks or even like just being able to customize your controller layout to something that will let you put crouch and jump to your LB or your RB and then you know the rest of your stuff or abilities on your buttons. I know a people that do that um, it helps them out because they don't have a scuff controller you know with paddles which is like my other option is if you don't play claw and you don't want to customize your controller or change your controller layout then you should definitely buy a scuff which is pretty expensive they're like $200 a piece but you know they're worth it's gonna help you out it's gonna help out your game playing with paddles uh, but essentially you know if you could learn how to play claw grip and have paddles you could essentially do a lot more things than the average controller player too so uh, i'm not suggesting you should be playing claw grip what i'm trying to say is basically just you know either use something that allows you to have both thumbs on thumbsticks while being able to jump or crouch you know and do stuff like this essentially Right, it's. I think it's extremely important. It is very important. Um, and you know that millisecond that you take your thumb off the thumbstick and then you don't know, jump, like you, you could be doing so much more. Stick layout. I have it on default. Uh, interact slash reload button. I tap to use and reload is where I found more success. Crouch button, toggle, aim button, hold. Survival slot button is off. The reason I have that off is because I like, you know, I like. I just kind of like doing this. You know what I mean? I'm super fast with being able to like just do this, right? So I could just drop a heat shield instantly. I don't have to worry about pressing it on my left on my D-pad. So that's why I have it off. Trigger dead zones. Uh, make sure to have this on to none. It's super, super sensitive when you have it on none. So that's why I have it triggered dead zone. But if you're having trouble and you're just letting the enemy know where you're at, stuff like that, and you're misfiring, whatever the case may be, then put it on default. I have it on none though. Menu cursor speed, I have it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 
where I've found the most success. Uh, I think a lot of people play at a much higher one. Um, you know, the higher it is, the better. Uh, but I just I just kind of like it on eight. That's the sweet spot for me. Look sensitivity. This is the gold stuff right here. The video. Uh, I play on four four, and it's on per optic settings. I have everything to four. I love the sens sensitivity. Uh, it's always been the best one for me. I've played at five four, six four. I've played on a bunch of ALC settings, but. I found the most success with this sensitivity specifically where I just, I just have so much muscle memory um, with this one. So I recommend it. It's 4.4 and the response curve is classic. I've also switched it to linear because I was bored, but you know, classic is where I've found the most success. Look dead zone is none. Movement dead zone is small. Invert look off. Vibration. Turn that off. Make sure to turn that off. Advanced look controls. I don't play with ALCs. I used to play with ALCs but this is not an ALC video. So moving on, this is big. These are my PC video settings. Uh, display mode, obviously play, have it on full screen. Aspect ratio, 16 by nine. Uh, resolution, 1920 by 1080 native. Brightness, I have it to 55%. The reason behind that is because sometimes in tunnels, you won't be able to see certain things. Um, and it just, this allows me to like, see way more stuff, essentially, you know, in, in, in darker areas. Uh, field of view, 104. Ever since I saw Snipe Down playing at 104, I've stuck with 104 for a very long time. I think since season two, and I just, I just really, really like 104. It's just, it definitely does change your sensitivity. I, I've noticed, like, if you play at a one, if you play at a 90, or if you play at a 110, you'll definitely notice the difference um, on your sense, especially on ALCs as well. So just make sure you know whatever you're comfortable with on FOV. I've seen players play at 80, you know personal preference thing you just know the pros and cons behind that fov ability scaling i have this disabled you do not want to be stemming and then your shit changes or you know bloodhound alting and your your reticle and your crosshair placement is changing or whatever the case may be when you're zooming in uh adsing screen view shake i have it on minimal uh v-sync make sure to have this disabled if you want to have the maximum frame rate you know, the maximum amount of frames for your PC have this disabled. Um, NVIDIA Reflex, I have it to enabled plus boost. The reason behind that is because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, um, the GeForce series. So that's why I have it enabled plus boost. If you do not have an NVIDIA graphics card, then at that point, you want to have it to just enabled. Okay. But I have mine at enabled plus boost. Adaptive resolution FPS target have this to zero all this stuff. It was just recommended settings to have the maximum amount of frame rate frame rate uh, possible, okay, so Make sure to just have all this off none texture streaming budget. I have it on very low um, You know texture filtering by linear ambient uh, occlusion quality disabled sun shadow coverage low sun shadow detail low basically everything else disabled um volumetric lighting disabled dynamic spot shadows disabled all of this is low and this allows me to get a steady 240 frames per second um if your pc you know this is just going to allow your your pc to have the maximum amount of frame rate okay so these are the best in my opinion the best video settings out there audio master volume obviously make sure to have this at 100 percent Voice chat input device system. I have it to system default. Uh, voice chat record mode push to talk. Open mic record threshold 1300. Incoming voice chat volume. I have it 100%. Sound effects volume. I have this to 100%. Dialogue volume 100%. You could lower this if you wanted to. You know, some people it bothers them, but it, you know, sometimes Newcastle or Lifeline, whatever legend you're playing, will tell you like, okay, there's a third party. You know, there's another team here, and that's that's very helpful sometimes, just to know, distinguish like who you're fighting. Uh, sound effects volume. Ha make sure to have this at 100%. A lot of people play this with. Uh, sometimes it'll be at 90 or 80. Jesus Christ. Sometimes it'll be at 90 or 80 for whatever reason. So just make sure it's at 100, and make sure this is the most important: is master volume 100 and sound effect volume 100. Music volume. Personal preference thing. I have this completely off. I like listening to music while I'm playing the game. So lobby music volume zero percent sound in background i have this off off uh play incoming text chat as speech i uh, have this off 
uh, convert incoming voice to chat text. I have this off. That's the best controller settings for Apex Legends Season 13. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you have a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.